Hello there everyone and welcome back to Rome Total War with the Caesar in Gaul campaign. Last time around Caesar was up north, up in the snowy Alps region. Unfortunately, uh, we've had to abandon this region and it's quickly fallen to the enemy because, well, um, these places can't defend themselves. There's no garrison and I couldn't spare any legions because worst case scenario has come to play the uh, we are at war with the Averni so uh, yeah I need all my legions against the Averni um, and uh, yeah it's really bad because we lost iron and there's another thing uh, as the Averni attacked me they actually snuck through my defenses so I didn't know that or I didn't see that there was actually a way you can march through here, through the mountains, and come out down here, which this army has done, marched at uh, force march. Um, I sent the first legion that was stationed in Octodurum, um, and it ha it was unable to arrive in time, and the only thing that happened was that it, they lost troops, as due to the snow passing through the Alps so yeah that's not great and there's about a um, 150,000 people here in these two towns that, po that lie at the mercy of this barbarian warlord he doesn't have a great, great amount of stars so maybe he'll just go ahead and attack the legion which is what we hope for um, I have loads of spies out to uh, keep an eye out on what's going on. I probably need more spies over here. Um, so what happened was that I saw that was the Averni started attacking their smaller allies. So they had one ally that was over here and they had one ally over here. This is the remnants of their allies. So the Averni was just swallowing up all of it. And uh, I kind of knew they were coming for me, so I had to abandon this region. Also, I wouldn't get really good resupply rate just because of how small, uh, in terms of pop uh, population, these are. And that seems to be going throughout the enemy territory, so I'm not entirely sure if they really can handle the... Um, the uh, because you look at this town, this is a town with only 4,000 people. And this one's only 3,000. So I'm wondering where all the Gallic people are going. If you compare that to, say, my town over here, which has 300,000 people. And this one's even better with half a million people within these walls. Somehow, though, this one is the one that makes most money. I don't know how you cannot make more money out of this province since it has half a million people. Anyways, um, as the first legion was unable to actually get to these guys, we're gonna have to go on the offensive instead. So it's Mark Anthony with the 13th legion and then Caesar with the 10th. And we have kind of a golden opportunity because Caesar has the opportunity to strike over here. And then this little town with only 4,000 people, who is here? Rallying troops for his army. In, if none other, the Vicengetrix with his army. So, uh, pretty done deal that Caesar will attack here and uh, bring Mark Anthony as support because we really want to destroy this guy. So they have 6,000 people within the wall. 6,000 troops. Vesengetrix's army is really veteraned, as you can see from all the gold chevrons and so on. But um, it's a really small town because there's only 4,000 people Besieging living the there. And uh, with Mark Anthony joining in. Mark Anthony can even move, he can move quite far, he can even move over here. Which is a possibility because I probably I need cannot. to capture as many places as possible. 
But the thing is, I don't really dare go too far here. The reason being that they recently, the uh, Averni recently took areas through here. So I'm expecting the enemy armies to come marching back this way. And since I don't have that information, I don't want to march out into the blight, just into these areas, without knowing what's going on there. So, uh, kind of keeping spy or spies all over the place. Um, but I'm thinking I need to move and try and figure out what's going on here, and we've got the dignitaries for that. And they will march and take a look at what's going on there. For now, we're going to march That's concentrated. And uh, if the Averni arrive en masse, we can hide within the walls of this town. And I think that will uh, work out pretty well. We have defeated large numbers of these bastards if we've held up behind walls or if we had time to set up defenses. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and kill Vizengetrix or capture him. And you know, immediately kind of bring a great blow to the Averni. One would hope there would be like a mechanic within the game to kind of splinter the um, Gauls if we took out the head of their leader. Uh, because, of course, the only reason why the Gauls kind of came together was because of Visingetrix. But maybe that would be too powerful. But then again, the Averni faction right now is pretty darn powerful. Uh, so yeah, let's have the 10th and the 13th go ahead and attack and uh, take these bastards out. And now we're ready to attack the wall. So because the last siege battle I did took so long time, I decided to do a lot of the prep work of camera. Um, let's go over and take a look at the situation. So, uh, we can see the town before us. Caesar's legion is over here. Mark Anthony's legion is over here. And I moved the cavalry and some of the barbarians over to this side. The gate here has been burned, so we can't actually move through it. But it is an oil gate, so it can pour down oil. Most of the barbarians are over here. Visingetrix is located right here. My idea is to have Mark Anthony as his legion, uh, the 13th, break through here first and then being able to attack here as Caesar is not able to climb the walls but instead he is going to um, have to break it down. One of our units has used all its ammunition. And we're going to see if we can make a third opening right over there by focusing in. So I've already opened up two holes for Caesar. We're gonna open up a third one right at the tower. We have discovered the enemy's hidden As I units. said, this gate is burned, but um, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a lot to actually break through there, if they put anyone there, because there's oil damage. I've got all the cavalry to ride through, and right now, Mark Anthony's legions Ready for orders. Legion are charging up the walls. And um, this one's we getting pummeled by their missile weapons. I bloody hate their missile weapons. Took 90 out of this ma out of this unit, which is great. And this one has to chase the bastards away before it suffers a similar fate. There's actually a lot of these shit units everywhere. I hate it so because it's such a cheap, cheap trick. So we're going to concentrate on this side. Oh yes, and this guy has turned up, my aide, and he's going to actually tell me if the general dies in battle or not. Um, which he, which previously has not been the case. Kind of, uh, what do I have here more? Have the, uh, the Levy Freeman has actually arrived, so they will actually break through first. 
and they will take up position or take the gate first let's see if we can break a hole here thing is I'm not gonna really attack with Caesar's legions until we're completely ready to break through here um, I'm hoping ah uh, this one's obviously been strung out due to uh, the fact that he's been hit by so many missile units that is getting killed bloody love the uh, the missile spam by the AI but then again who said it was gonna be who said it was gonna be easy and oh my god even better the my cohorts decide <laughs> they were gonna run around the walls instead of uh, climbing up them who needs allies when you've got cohorts like this I don't think we can wait the cavalry will have to ride these guys down to open up here and as this is now this area where we charge up is now undermanned there's a risk of that side getting destroyed because the AI decided not to follow my bloody orders which is great fantastic wonderful come on break down that we kinda need a third place to get through so the 13 has no one else but itself to blame for his current misfortunes Oh, there's still one actually moving this way around. What is wrong with you people? Right, these... Legionnaires... are on their own. Mm. This bloody breaks my balls. Okay, we broke through here. Uh, let's see... Cavalry. Our men flee the field of We're suffering battle. massive casualties because it's pouring down oil. But I need to break through there. And now these three are free to move through here and aid the ones the walls are breached. that um, were supposed to be aided by these idiots. Ready, men. Ready and waiting. We'll rally these guys to make sure they fight hard. Oh, cavalry got stuck on some other units. The gate is now ours, so the levy freemen will go there. Cavalry will ride around instead and see if we can hit some other targets from the back. Why are you still insisting on running? around like a bunch of morons. This cohort right here is down to 39 men. And now finally you come to aid them. The levy freemen not doing too great. I wanna see, we've got some weak units. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Forward. That there and Possibly I could capture a gate there. Through. These guys will evacuate them. I think I might have lost that one that was down to 17 men. Which is not great because it cost me 5,000 to replenish or re, um, rebuild one of these units. I really don't want to lose that, but I think my legions... Which one is this? Where do I... S it's 126. When my own legions break my balls. 
You know what? No. Stand here. And then you can see about throwing some spears at the others. The thing is, I don't have the Legionnaires on toggle guard mode, but still you can see them kind of just holding back. And not like trying to find, you know, enemy targets fanning out. I kind of need One of the. Our units has used all its ammunition. Let's see if the cavalry can ride down some more archers to aid there. They're gonna retake the gate, and they killed off those levy freemen. Not that that mattered much because uh, it's a shit unit. And who does care about those? They're down to 19 at this point. Trying to break through there. Can I get these 19 so we just save that unit? And I'm gonna scare that one. Which will hopefully fall through this side. Thing is the... Damn. Oh, they're getting hit by the spears, are they? This is a shameful display. Damn. You can ride back and hit this one on your way back. But it's not, as you can see, it's not going too great. It's always such a mess. In sieges. Where are you going? Possibly to recapture this tower, which I'm not gonna let him. So we're gonna move this one over there, and finally, our men flee the field of battle. This who is, is fleeing now? Ah, uh, the cavalry. Yep, those cavalry units. It's uh, lucky, I guess, that I didn't send all of them. That pissed me off so much that, I mean, how many cohorts were over here? Mark Anthony will now ride to join them over here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Uh, we got a specific point over here that might be good to capture. Jupiter gives us strength. And then we can make our way to actually take out Vs and Getrex. Before we sandwich the rest of the enemy units. Our hidden units have been discovered. Oh, you're still alive? I'm gonna order you to just ride away. To have you survive! Right, we need to get through, so I just want to destroy everything that comes in our way. <clears throat> Possibly should have saved that for Vizengetrix, or, um,. I'm gonna order you to leave. Used all its ammunition. Sons of Mars. Legionaries. The 56th one. Legionaries. Two of them. Your orders. Legionaries. See if we can come out from the back. So we're focusing in there. We have these two. Gonna be able to come up behind these. By your command. The enemy have taken a tower. Oh, they have, have they? Where? Oh, we took that one somehow. I want to take this marketplace or whatever that is. So we are uh, sandwiching these guys and destroying them. And this unit getting killed off. Right. It's starting to go my way. I want to capture the gate, so you will move with all haste over there, and you guys will move with all haste over there, and you guys are done over here, and then you can move to try and deal some damage to Visingetrix. 
Then these two smaller ones, I guess we'll just hold them back here. As long as it's not enemy, it's gonna be fine as we capture that. Our men flee the field of battle. Who's fleeing now? This is a shameful display. That little group of 18 is fleeing. Right. Um, once I get the cavalry in and stuff, I think we'll have a better chance of attacking all of this nonsense. The battle is set to be heavily in my favor. Uh, go to defensive Testudo. That seemingly they've somehow pushed ballistas into that, I think. Yeah, seemingly, because now <laughs> they're throwing my troops around. Right, let's see, what do I have? Legionaries. Let's see if we can get these guys to come over here. At speed. And these to advance here. What I'm gonna do is... I think I'm gonna send in one... Cohort. To really try and attack... Here. Which will hopefully prompt. I wanted you really to go more over here. But I really wanted them to uh, kind of get Vsin Getrix unit. In melee, losing decisively. What we're gonna do is we're gonna break through by pushing four cohorts straight through this side as this one holds them in place. So we're gonna force our way through Vizingetric's unit. And then once through, we're gonna fall back on him. And suddenly, um, he's getting attacked from both sides. And I think the fight is now going to turn in our favor. And with the gate now being claimed for us, means that I can bring in the rest of the cavalry and Mark Anthony. So Vizengetrix is getting absolutely annihilated. Let's see if we can find... I think we pause and see if we can find... Oh, I don't think we actually saw Vizengetrix. Um, there he is, actually. It wasn't that hard to find him. Maybe we should keep, keep an eye on him, see when he dies slash being captured. Um, as we bring these guys in. The there he goes. Dead. I mean, I was lucky that I paused there because the guy died like seconds later. Um, these legionaries are gonna have to come down. Gonna have to come down through here. While these guys are gonna go capture the main point. And then I'm gonna have to march around to get over here, and then Caesar's legions can come through through the gates. So it seems like the 13th made. Our enemy have lost a victory point. Uh, made most most of the work for this battle. Although I believe um, Caesar actually lost all of his cavalry. We'll have them move over there, Mark Anthony. No, wrong. I selected Caesar. Mark Anthony is over here. There. Um. Mark Anthony will move over here, and now these guys will move down here. 
So we're ready to uh, envelop the enemy. So at this point, I mean, we've cut our way through here. We don't want this guy just to... Can you kill this thing? So we cut our way through here. Had a heavy cut losses. We cut our way through here, heavy losses. But now we're ready to assault the remainder of the enemy force. Which I've lined up like this. We've got three cohorts. We're gonna attack through that breach. We've three through there. And then we have the two larger ones followed by two extra to come through here. But I think we're gonna have these guys of the 13th attack first come through here and these come through here before we send the others trying to uh, climb the wall. There's no good target for the cavalry to attack. I think Mark Anthony is probably needed over here. They've realized they're going to be attacked in the back. They've yet to realize they're going to be attacked here. The enemy fort will soon be ours. Oh, it's counting down for my victory. Well, that's just as well because uh, that means we lose less men. Oh, and there we go. Decisive victory. And I can't even choose to continue the battle. But it doesn't matter. We won the battle. And uh, there we have it. Yeah. Really dislike sieges. Because there's so much to keep a track on. And so, yeah. Didn't go super well. Still, decisive victory. And we killed uh, Visingetrix. So, I guess we'll have to take the good with the bad. And now back to the campaign map, shall we? And here we have the statistics. It actually says it's a close victory here instead of a decisive one as the other one did. I think it's because uh, we lost one of the cohorts. That's not great. The 81 managed to survive though. And the cavalry managed to survive. So that's good. So we only lost one cohort. But that's still pretty darn expensive to replace that one cohort. Um, the We lost a high amount of troops. 2,000 men taking this. But the enemy lost, of course, 6,000. And they lost their king, which is going to be a mighty blow to uh, the Averni. Could be, now that I think about it, because Caesar is one of those characters that I think if he dies, he comes back. So I think a similar thing might happen to a Verney, which uh, means that killing him didn't actually do that much. But it temporarily puts him out of action. We're gonna go ahead and occupy. Which gives me 15, gonna give me 15,000, which will be enough for me to raise that cohort back up. And we gained Imperium, uh, the highest level, which increases our armies from 12 to 15, spies and champions and so forth, and edicts, and also Caesar's Legion. No, it wasn't Caesar's Legion. That was, uh, would have been strange because uh, Mark Anthony did the most. Uh, campaign movement range, uh, ma range and melee attack. Armor, melee defense, attrition under siege, morale. I think we're gonna m try to march as quickly as possible. Um, inflicted by all. What's the difference here? 3% army damage, uh, weapons damage inflicted by all, and morale. Oh, missile damage and weapon damage. So this one's morale. I think weapon damage is better. 3% morale is like, that's not even 3 points of morale, which doesn't, doesn't really mean 
doesn't give anything. Actual damage is going to be easier to measure. Um, there's a risk for Mark Anthony to be absolutely destroyed, so he's going to move back. First here. And then we can see if he can... Oh, no, that's a shit. Um, then he can move back into this region where he will be able to replenish his troops. Caesar will be able to sit here. And... Um, what will we put here? Mars, Jupiter, I don't know. Um, definitely try to switch this uh, region around to actually be to actually gain popu uh, population instead of losing it. And then we also have an open slot which they haven't used. Right, so a heavy siege. Next time around, I think we're gonna see the battle over here, and hopefully we can. Even though we're heavily outnumbered, we can actually turn the fight against. Um, the Averni. Welcome. What does the Averni say if I go with Come peace on. right now? I mean, you lost your king. Hunting. Or I guess he was wounded and managed to scurry away into the night. Right. Anyways, uh, that's this episode. Hopefully we can continue this kind of winning streak against the Averni and uh, bring them to heel. And as I say, as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!